Good day, b -b -b people of the internet. Today I'm going to show you how to do nonverbal reasoning type 11, sometimes known as shape addition. The reason it's called shape addition is could they give you two shapes on the left? You got to add those guys together, and then it's going to look like one of these shapes on the right. You got to choose A, B, C, D, or E, okay? So, just so you get the concept, I'm going to cheat on this one. I'm going to show you how it's done. So if I just take this one shape here, make a copy of that guy, just drag him down here for a second. Take a copy of this guy, move him down here. When I put these fellas together, excuse me while I just move these around a little bit. Okay, there we go. You gotta find out which one of these on the right is the same as this one. I'm thinking D looks pretty darn similar. Yeah, so the answer to that one will be D. So uh, let's go ahead and have a look at another one. Okay, so uh, here's a slightly more difficult one. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I haven't seen this one before, but a little tip with any nonverbal reasoning question. It's a good idea to eliminate ones that are definitely not correct. So if we have a look at this one, it's got a kind of eyeball thing here. And the eyeball's looking over to the right in this shape here. So look, look at option D, man. The eyeball's all in the middle. So we can get rid of this guy, because ain't this one, is it? No. Okay, right, let's go through. Now how do we do this one? We gotta work it out. Okay, so I like to look for little bits of the image, you know, so we get some clues. So I'm just looking through this and off the top of my head, you might find different things, different ways of doing it. That's all fine. This is my way. It might help you. Okay, so look at the pupil of the eyeball. The arrow is attached to the pupil of the eyeball. So, that means we can eliminate a couple more. See this one here? There's the pupil of the eyeball. Ain't got no arrow on it. Let's get rid of this guy. Look at this. You can get rid of this one too. Ain't got no arrow coming out of that pupil on the eyeball. So we've only got two left. Okay, what else can we see? Well, I don't know, but I'm looking at the, 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 I, I'm looking at the rectangle. And if this rectangle was on here, if you rotated it, it wouldn't work, you know? Cause like, if you flip this one over around like that, this pointy arrow will be on the right, but here it's on the left. So, gonna scratch this one out. Oh me, oh my. We only got one left. So it must be correct. So we can choose the answer as C. I mean, look, I can show you guys, just so you believe me. Here I go, I'm just gonna group this one. Group this one. Now we're gonna copy them. Just move it down here so I can show you guys. I'm gonna copy this one. Copy nicely. Move it down here. Okay, so let's just go over here to make it more clear because we know which one's the right one. So you can see this shape doesn't change much. It stays the same. Oh my, sorry guys. Undo that. Okay, grab this fella. Move him over here. Oh, not that far. Okay, so yeah, what's happened is this one has been rotated. So let's rotate that. No, 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 no. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, look at that. It's like the same as the one above. Just gotta move this one over a little bit. Look at that. They're the same, we got it right. So it just shows, even if you look at these questions and you're like, fuck, crying out loud. How the gosh darn do I do this one? Just stay calm, take a deep breath. Look at the little pieces in the question. Eliminate the ones that are definitely not correct. And then hopefully you'll be able to work out the rest. Okay, gotta go. Bye.